Hey everyone, this is a short addition to my Soul Level 1 guide for Dark Souls 3 and I would like to show you the benefit of using Fire and Deep Infusion for the Broadsword over Raw Infusion. Because in most Soul Level 1 playthroughs you'll see the player using a Raw Broadsword. And the reason for choosing Raw would be the fact that you can buff it using Resins and Bundles, which means adding elemental damage rather than having a weapon with split damage and therefore twice the damage absorption from the enemy. However, when you actually test it out, you can see that it is in fact not true at all. So here I have a Soul Level 1 character in New Game Plus 2. So I have 3 Broadswords, 1 Fire, 1 Deep and 1 Raw. Now let's test it out on a regular Hollow. And the reason for testing it out on a Hollow is because, contrary to what the wiki says, regular Hollows are as weak to Fire as they are to Dark. First, let's do the comparison without wearing any rings. Here you see the amount of damage Fire Infusion does. Now let's compare that to Raw with Charcoal Pine Resin. Not a huge difference, but Fire Infusion is clearly more powerful. And that's on Nukem Plus 2 doing split damage. Now a bundle adds more fire damage, but only lasts for a few seconds. However, it practically does the same amount of damage as Fire Infusion. But that's without rings. Now let's add the Fire Clutch Ring, Lloyd Sword Ring and Flint's Ring and let's see what the difference is. First Fire Infusion. Then Raw with Resin. And then Raw with a Bundle. Now with the inclusion of Rings, Fire Infusion is actually stronger than the Bundle. Now let's also test the Deep Broadsword against Raw with Human Pine Resin. Deep Infusion is again more powerful. And as you can see, Hollows do indeed have the same defense against Fire as against Dark. The peculiar thing though is that Resins don't add the exact same amount of elemental damage. And if you think it might have something to do with the scaling of the Hollows in the starting area, let's test the difference between the Deep Broadsword versus the Raw Broadsword with Human Pine Resin against the Soul of Cinder. As you can see, the Deep Broadsword still wins. Not a huge difference, but again, this is Nukem Plus 2 and resins have to be reapplied and are consumables. Now you might say that the reason to prefer the Raw Broadsword is because of diversity. After all, a Fire Broadsword can only do fire damage and you can add multiple damage types to the Raw Broadsword. However, that only gives you a very small benefit for very few instances. Because you will mostly use the Raw Broadsword unbuffed throughout the game, and when you do add resin, in the case where you add fire, it's weaker than the fire broadsword. And when you add something else, at best it means having to hit the boss like 1, 2 or 3 times less for something that you may need to reapply in the middle of the fight. And if you're rather unskilled at soul level 1 and you die a lot, you are constantly wasting your resins anyway. And in the case of bleed, which has been nerfed quite a lot after all these patches, the amount of weaker hits it takes to activate bleed pretty much negates the extra damage that bleed does anyway. Also, on regular new game where you only have one broadsword, fire will be sufficient anyway, because it's pretty good against regular enemies, and most bosses tend to have higher dark resistance than fire resistance. And if you look at my Soul Level 1 walkthrough, the only time I was at a disadvantage with my fire broadsword was against the dancer. However, for that walkthrough I took speed into consideration. So if speed is not an issue, you can literally just farm for deep and fire gems and switch them out whenever you feel like it. And when you get to new game plus, you can find a second broadsword anyway. So therefore, even though raw infusion is most common in Soul Level 1 playthroughs, I don't see how it's the best option. Just save your raw gem for the Dragon Slayer Axe. That remains the ultimate weapon for a low level character.